Hi again, um, just as a small recap, my name is Katie and I'm doing research on a few different topics for um, a paper that I'm going to be writing at the end of this semester for school. So um, if you didn't watch the last video, I had um, a couple, like five I think, topics that I was um, kind of considering for this research um, and I think I've narrowed it down to two. Two. So this video is just going to be kind of the first, so I guess part one of the two topics. I'm just going to focus on one of them right now. And then I'm going to part put, post another video with um, talking about the other topic. So for this video, I'm going to talk about light pollution. So um, for the research that I've done, I've just been kind of watching a few different TED Talks. I know it's not much, but... Um, I have a hard time concentrating with like reading so it's a lot easier for me to like watch videos and watch the TED Talks and take notes. So I've got my notes here that I'm going to kind of um, go through. So I knew that light pollution was an issue because I have lived in kind of bigger cities um, for most of my life um, and I took an astronomy class my senior year in high school and I loved it but we had a couple of assignments where we had to go out and find constellations and that shit was hard like it was hard to find constellations because of how much light pollution we had in the city um but as I was doing more research this time around about light pollution there's actually a lot more effects that I didn't know it's kind of dangerous. I mean, I thought it was, I thought it just kind of was like, oh, you can't see the sky. You can't see the stars at night. Sucks. But it's fine. No, it's not fine. And it's not just the stars. So um, one effect that, it's kind of an obvious effect. It's just like, it's harder to sleep at night because there's the light. And um, there's also it's linked to a bunch of different types of cancers which when I heard that I was like mm, I just I don't get that I, I don't think that's correct but the more they talked about it I was like mm, that kind of makes sense um I do definitely am, I'm gonna do more research on this so this is this is just like the overview of this topic um <clears throat> but so basically what happens is we have this chemical in our body called melatonin and um, that's what helps us sleep I think or something like that so when the artificial light at night is um, hitting our eyes um, it affects the chemical balance of the melatonin which can like cause other chemical imbalances um, to different um, chemicals inside our bodies that are linked to cancer that's just the overview I know I am not being very detailed because um I don't really quite understand it completely yet but I will and I will keep you updated on that so um, it's linked to cancer um, it says that um, the more light pollution and artificial light that you are exposed to there's a 50% chance or if there's a 50% more of a chance to get breast cancer. I don't I don't know if that's a good way of wording it, but whatever we're going with it. Um and then in one of the TED talks that I looked at, um she said this was it's called the problem of light pollution and then I think it also was like in how to solve it or something like that by Kelsey Johnson. I will link that below. Um she actually did this in November of 2019, so it's pretty recent. Um but she gave five steps on how to, you know, solve light pollution not obviously you can't solve it overnight or whatever but to help it i guess so the first one is to um sorry the first one is to not use lights brighter than you need them the second one is to not use lights when they're not needed the third one is to shield lights and direct them down um, fourth one is to choose warm white light bulbs and the fifth one is just to advocate it in your community you know um, a lot of people don't realize that it that this is an issue and especially people who have only grown up in cities you know they haven't ever had the opportunity to see the actual night sky um, so that's kind of the overview 
of light pollution, so I'll keep you updated.